Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. A beautiful, beautiful sunset that's starting to happen over there. Um, it's, it's been a lovely day here. The weather has been, I don't know, if, if is it considered a pessimist when you start to see that the weather's been just too nice here lately? I, and that's not the case, but it's been eerily really nice. Dry, uh, but I, here lately, the last several days, I have not seen skies this clear in a very long time. I'm not complaining. It's just, it's just strange, you know. I don't know. Um, if you're in the path of Hurricane Milton, you better have figured out what you're going to do because it's getting ready to start hitting there. There's already been many, many tornadoes pop up, already lots of destruction and power outages and that sort of thing. Um, obviously, there's still uh, relief efforts going on throughout the south because of Hurricane Helene. Helene. Um, <clears throat> but in the same spirit of those two things, we're going to talk about disasters still. Uh, next Thursday, October 17th, um, several states here kind of in the Midwest, basically any state that's in the general area of the New Madrid fault line, uh, they're doing a earthquake awareness day and her not just awareness for the people but various agencies will be doing drills on how to respond to earthquakes if the new madrid goes off and then before i get into anything to do with conspiracy let's push that aside for a moment and let's just talk about earthquakes um uh, what one thing that's been happening during all of this time which very easily could be causing these hurricanes to become much worse, is we've had a lot of solar flares in the last week or so. Multiple X-class. In fact, you all know one of them was one of the biggest we've had in a very long time. But multiple X-class solar flares, it was just a couple, I think, the last couple of days. Um, in fact, they're saying tomorrow night, you could see the northern lights as far as down into Alabama unusual right <clears throat> and you know the geomagnetic storms are going to be bad and and the the magnetic uh, field protective field around the earth is, is gotten a lot weaker so all that being said and with the increased solar activity from of solar flares there is also some scientific indication i'm not going to say proof because it's not proof but there's indication that they can also greatly affect earthquakes so that's a possibility. New Madrid fault line, if it goes, that's massively, massively huge. Now, when we get into the conspiracy side of things, people start talking about, well, maybe they'll cause that to go off. Maybe they can do this and that. And I, and I don't want to go deep into that. Um, but <clears throat> with all the stuff going on and the, the possibility of New Madrid fault going off, and the fact that multiple state governments are doing, along with FEMA, are doing a big old training drill for it next week. It's definitely something that you should be aware of. Natural disasters. I know a lot of you are saying, well, I'm a prepper, right? I'm prepped for the end of the world. I'm good. It's not the same thing. Look at what's happened in Carolinas, you know, North Carolina especially. What's getting ready to happen in Florida. It already had happened in Florida and Georgia, but it's getting ready to happen again. You may be self-sufficient, you may be off-grid, you may be capable of physically defending your property, you may be capable of growing lots of food, but uh, are you capable of dealing with it all getting blown away or it all getting flooded away, or at least a partial portion of it? This is different, and so <clears throat> with all the stuff that's going on in the world, if, if it's being done on purpose, it's definitely a different level of warfare. Even if it's not being done on purpose, biblically speaking, if we're in the end times, then we're definitely getting into a time period where there'll be increased floods and volcanoes and earthquakes and stuff like that. So either way you look at it, I'd say right now the odds are getting to be pretty favorable for us to be experiencing more and more and more of these types of natural disasters, whether they're truly natural or not. So while you may have been prepping for pandemics and World War III's and economic shutdowns and that kind of stuff, grid going down, you should also be preparing for this kind of stuff. And in some ways, it could be way worse than those other types of things I just mentioned. 
like I said, you know, creek rises and washes everything away. Wind blows it away. Uh, you know, earthquake causes everything to tumble over. <clears throat> you know, there's all fires, ice storms. There's all kinds of things that can be equally as bad as a man-made disaster, if not worse. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. You need to be preparing for this kind of stuff. Whether it's earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, ice storms, wind storms, droughts, wildfires, pretty much anywhere you go in the country, you're gonna have at least some type of natural disasters that could affect you. Usually it's multiple type. And if you have not learned anything over the last week, I don't know what to tell you, but you better be getting seriously prepared for this. Um, you know, I've watched a few videos today. I was actually quite busy. I had a couple of big meetings, but I did get some time because I was doing some research. Watched a few videos, and it was from down in Florida, and it's just regular people, and they're talking about how, you know, they're, they're, they couldn't get out. You know, the highways are shut down. There's no fuel. They couldn't get out, and now they're going to have to ride this storm out on their own, and they're hoping and praying that it doesn't blow them away. And they're hoping and praying that they got enough water and food to make it through it. And I'm thinking, while you may not be able to affect where it whether it blows you away or not, but you should have enough food, water, fuel, all that kind of stuff already on hand that you can make it through a, a hurricane. I mean, if you live down in the Florida Peninsula where you know that at some point in time you're going to have to deal with a hurricane, and you don't have at least a few months worth of food and water and medical and that kind of stuff stored away, then that, that's just insane to me. And th this is unfortunately the thinking of most Americans, which is why the other really bad thing that we have to deal with when these events, whether natural or unnatural, happen is that people panic. They go into panic mode because they don't have anything. They don't have any water. They don't have any food. You know, there's been rumors and talks about in North Carolina especially of it just almost divulging into anarchy because people are starving to death and they don't have anything to drink so you have to deal with that also but we we have an obligation because of well you know what we know not to be fools you know I mean you're a fool if you know something you, you don't you know don't deal with it don't do anything about it we know things we know how to prepare we know what's coming at us and so you've got to You've got to have a good solid plan. And, and I just, I want to reiterate that maybe you have a solid plan for when all the illegals pour into your area. And they are doing that in many areas. Not every area, but they are doing that in many areas. You, you may have a solid plan for when the grid gets taken out by a cyber attack or by a CME. You may have an amazing plan when the dollar completely loses its value and there's massive bank runs and hyperinflation. But again, do you have a good plan of when a tornado touches down and blows it all away or scatters your preps in a, you know, one square mile area of your house? Uh, do you have a plan for when the water rises and your barn that's got a bunch of stuff in it gets, you know, washed downstream? Do you have a plan for that kind of stuff? And so while it's quite possible that this multi-state drill on earthquakes could have some kind of, you know, nefarious uh, things going on, I do think it's a good idea to do drills like this. I think it's a good idea for you as individuals, for you as prepper groups, for you as homestead, you know, whatever communities, to do drills. What do you do when a wildfire might come through your area or an ice storm or, you know, the creek rises or whatever it is? I know it's not as exciting. You know, up until a week or so ago, a week and a half, two weeks ago, this was considered boring. Boring prepper stuff, right? The exciting prepper stuff was what kind of cool gun that you have, what kind of, you know, grip that you use on, you know, the, the high-end SIG junky pistol that you have, or, uh, you know, what kind of, you know, really cool tactics that you, you know, cool chest rigs and, and all that. That was the cool stuff, right? This kind of stuff was boring, but now it's cool again because, well, lots and lots of people have lost a lot because of it. And so we need to realize that these kinds of events, these natural events, even ones that are man-made, but they're still considered natural. You know what I'm saying? They are extremely devastating. And the Bible tells us that they're going to happen more often. And the, what we're seeing happen with the sun and the earth, 
tells us they're probably going to happen more often. And, well, you know, what we think is probably going on with the world governments, it's probably going to happen more often, too. So we have to be prepared for this, folks. You have to have some solid plans. This is one of those few cases that you would evac, you know, like where we're at. I'm not bugging out, right? I'm not bugging out because bad people are coming or because the dollar collapses or because the grid goes down because I live in my bug out location. But, you know, if some really, really freaky thing happens and this creek rises, you know, 25 feet and now my house may be in jeopardy, then I might bug out. Uh, if for some reason a, a wildfire comes blowing through and it's going to take out my house, I'm going to bug out because that's not something you can stop with a bullet. You know, I don't care what kind of body armor you have on. You ain't stopping a forest fire coming at you. So everyone should have an evac plan. Everyone should have a plan of where to meet either on your property or to trusted neighbor or someone else's because you may get scattered, you know, especially if you have children. It's great to do this with children because it reduces the level of fear that they may have. You can make it really fun. Kids love doing drills and stuff like that. Make it fun. And then if heaven forbid it after actually happened it's going to take the edge off of their fear because they've done this drill several times and they know what to expect and that's part of it it's not so that you can perfect what you're doing you don't train so that you become perfect in it you train so that you cannot fail okay and that's very different than being perfection and we've got to be you've got to be i've got to be we're doing it too we're, we, we do it. We, I just, you know, talking to my guys, we're going to start doing more disaster response preparedness for our own group. And we have to be doing this. This is part of what I've been saying for the last few weeks leading up to these hurricanes. Use them as a learning experience. Well, now that they're happening, we're seeing the aftermath. We're seeing the destruction. There's probably more in store for us. There are already talk about possible depressions out in the Atlantic and the Gulf that could also head in the same direction. Uh, who knows if the earthquake happens? Who knows if the big earthquake in California finally happens like they've been threatening? Um, <clears throat> we have to be ready for it because absolutely you've learned one thing. You cannot depend on the government to be there and take care of you when these things happen. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order and to prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.